it's finally time to buy that house. This week, I'm gonna show you seven mistakes you should watch out for when making the largest purchase of your life. Stay tuned. Ah, home ownership, the cornerstone of the American dream. Ask almost anyone and this landmark is likely on their radar. At hundreds of thousands of dollars, this is likely going to be the largest purchase you make in your entire life. That's why it's so important to make sure to get it right. So this week, I'm going to go over seven mistakes you should avoid to make sure this new home truly is sweet. Let's dive in. First, not waiting for the right home. Don't let your excitement blind you from little details that can have a big impact. You might find a relatively modest two bedroom at a reasonable price, but if you ignore its flaws, such as a sinking foundation, being built on permafrost, etc., it can create huge problems later. Here's another example. Some friends of mine relocated from the other end of the East Coast and purchased a house that was on a land lease. It is practically impossible to sell now because of that land lease. So pay careful attention to every little detail, ask lots of questions, and don't let the house's charm seduce you into a blind stupor. Next, not saving up for a down payment. Without saving the right amount of down payment, you may likely find yourself in a bind when it's time to sell because you have very little equity. You may be forced to maintain a high asking price when selling in order to break even on closing costs, which makes your property less competitive in the open market. Instead of sinking that savings into furniture or something else you can find at a discount or even buy progressively, keep it dedicated to that down payment. For more information on how much down payment you should save and other elements of a secure home ownership and purchase, check out my previous Savvy Saturday video, a simple four part recipe for secure home ownership. It'll show you everything you need to know to make the financial side of home purchase a sound decision. Next, not considering all your ongoing costs. It's a common misconception that if mortgage including escrow is equal to rent, then you should be a homeowner instead. If you have any hint of this mindset, you are likely not considering all costs. Home ownership versus renting is a perfect example of apples versus oranges. There are additional costs, especially long-term, that come with home ownership, and most of the benefit of owning comes over the long run of staying in a property. Make sure to pursue home ownership with all things considered. For more on this, check out my previous Savvy Saturday video, Should You Rent or Buy? Next, not getting a good home inspection. It can be easy to phone in the inspection and try to save a few bucks here and there, but don't do it. A home inspection is critical to not just identifying potential problems with the property, but to also understand how your new homestead works. After all, you will be the one managing this investment. Choose a quality home inspector like my friend Eric Wolf at The Certified Home and don't go with your cheap realtor's buddy. That little bit you saved could come back tenfold as a bigger problem later. Next, not shopping around for a realtor. Most people are so ready to buy or sell that they grab the first realtor they see that seems competent. This is a huge mistake. You should interview at least two or three realtors before signing a contract for them to list your property. It may not cost you anything to procure a realtor, but signing with the wrong one can cost you tens of thousands of dollars and missed opportunity passing you by because they weren't being effective in finding you the right property or negotiating the best deal possible. Focus on a realtor that's experienced and from the community you're looking to buy and that has great recommendations. Next, not saving for repairs. Okay, so now you're in the property, but it hasn't stopped yet. Just because your new home is only a few years old doesn't mean your chances for mistakes have passed. Enter the most common wallet buster of homeownership, repairs. Whether it's a septic tank replacement, frozen pipes, a broken door, or something else, there will be repairs and you need to be prepared. This is especially where that home inspection can be helpful. If you knew getting into this place that the boiler would need to be replaced in 18 months, you can be prepared for it. That doesn't count the unexpected timing of repairs though, so you need to have a budget for repairs. I recommend starting with $100 a month, but it does vary on the particular property. You've got to start somewhere. If you want help digging into how to budget effectively for your specific property, contact me for a free consultation and we can explore together how to make a solid plan. Lastly, not budgeting for upkeep. So we all know things break, but what about basic maintenance? This is a super important thing to consider when shopping for a home. Who's going to mow that lawn? 
plow that driveway, etc. Whether it's chimneys, gardens, sprinklers, or something else, your property needs a curator, and by buying it, you volunteered. If you aren't anticipating and saving for these expenses, it can break your wallet and potentially lead to costly repairs. For more on this, check out my previous Savvy Saturday video, Nine Home Upkeep Costs You're Forgetting. I hope you found this information helpful. Make sure to download my free ebook, The Money Finder, which helps you save in five major expense areas. And come join me in the Strong Together Money community. It's my free Facebook community designed to keep you focused, informed, and growing on your financial journey. Also, are you tired of paying that ridiculous cable bill but don't know how to keep your content without it? Maybe you've even cut cable already, but you're wondering if there's a better option that could save you more or give you more options without added costs. Check out my online course, Cable Cutting Academy, at cablecuttingacademy.com for more information. It's helped plenty of people find options and savings step by step. This has been Jeremy with Strength in Numbers, helping you find more money to fund your dreams.